and it's another trap. Oh no! Hey Trainer Time fans! We are back with another one of our Deadly Maze competition videos. So as you guys know, the contestant did not win last week, so the grand prize is now $120 instead of $100. Um, so we have a new player joining us today. His name is Kingcraft. He has his own YouTube channel, uh, so make sure to check him out. Again, that is Kingcraft. Um, so we'll see if he does any better today. So if you don't know already, make sure to check out the last video so you know all the rules. If you want to participate in the maze, you need to like the video. You need to subscribe to our channel and you need to comment on this week's video saying you want to run the maze and we do a drawing every Tuesday and we announce the winner on Wednesday and then we film with that person the following Tuesday. So make sure you like, subscribe and comment if you want to try and win. There are $500 worth of prizes hidden throughout the maze as well as the grand prize. So let's go ahead and give a warm welcome to this week's guest so welcome to the maze <laughs> very excited to have you king craft um so first things first you're gonna pick your barrel which one would you like some are better than others so make sure you choose wisely go with this one all right go ahead this one doesn't look that bad i'll take you i got a full set of leather armor yeah, perfect and then you get to choose one item off the special wall up here. Can I get that speed potion? I think that's what that is. Speed potion for sure. This one. And there you go. <laughs> right there for you. Well, from his barrel, he has received two wooden swords, full leather armor, five apples, 16 snowballs, three bread, and a clock. And he chose a potion from the wall, and he is off into the maze. He didn't even pause, man. He just jumped straight in. He knows what he's doing. So he just All opened right. up boat number two. Oh, wow. He's like, he has received a boat and three berries. <laughs> man on a mission. He's, he said he watched the first maze to figure out what was going on. So he uh, he knows. <laughs> he knows what how big it is and how much limited time he's got. Okay, so he's already found area number one loop. He has received a chainmail helmet and five melon. And he's already put that chainmail helmet on. He's not kidding around. Nice upgrade to his armor to start off. So oh, pretty yeah. nice for him. Also found more food, which is never a bad thing in this oh, yeah. maze. The food in is going to make a big deal. So he's... Yes, we learned this last week, Jim. So we're now in the Crimson Forest. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Definitely did not find the chest, I can tell. Oh, he took I his it. he took his potion. He is hauling it through the obstacle course, man. He is eating it up. Very nice, very All nice. Alright, he got the chest in the end room. Oh snap. Oh the endermites though. The endermites are cornering him. And now. Oh no, he's got his potion on. He better not use it. Oh, he got out. He, he ran for it. Good man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, Running is turn. always a great option in the maze. Yes, it is. I think that's the best call there, Jim. What are you doing, buddy? He's being very, very oh. fast with his exploration. This is very Can't smart of him. Very figure out the bad areas real quick. <laughs> He's just found out he went through a very long dead end. <laughs> yes, he did. That's just always an unfortunate thing, Jim. When you reach the end and you just realize that you wasted a bunch of time, just not what you want. Yeah. It's going to be interesting seeing if he makes it into any new rooms today. I'm rooting yes. for him. There are many rooms that were not showed on the last yeah. video. So many rooms. Uh oh. He's ending up down another windy path. Oh, so he got dead end honey room. Alright, let's see. 
It has received a diamond shawl! Oh, there you go. That's an That's upgrade. That's a good upgrade. Yeah. Very much worth it to check some of these dead ends. He also got dead end yeah. by Crimson Room. So he has received a normal egg and a spot wandering trader egg. <laughs> he's like, why did I take Very that helpful. list? <laughs> Very helpful. Looks like he's a little turned around though. We're going through a loop. I think he found the single most helpful chest in all the maze with that egg and wandering trader egg. <laughs> yeah. It's just a game changer. Oh, he's made it to the honey room. And he has the Leaky honey house. chest. He has received 16 more snowballs. <laughs> nice. Very helpful. Those snowballs. Indeed. Making quick work of the mobs with that diamond sword. Oh, we're in the oasis. He opened up number one. Oh, got some new iron leggings. Ooh, some iron leggings is what he has received. He opened up the second one. Hold his way till he finds the last one. Oh, he just <laughs> got the last one. Alright, he has also received a shingle apple and a healing potion and three berries. Wow. He's gonna have quite the so. food stockpile. Exactly, and he has something that's going to help him in those situations when he gets low on HP. Yeah. He's making good headway, that's for sure. What you want? Oh, he has a baby husk chasing him. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> even know. He doesn't know oh, that, that the baby husk is keyed on. <laughs> oh. He's trying to outrun it, but it's staying. Oh, uh, he's hitting him with the wondering. snowballs. <laughs> hey, use him when you got him, right? Oh, he's running from the husk okay. still. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's decided not to fight. That's all right. That's smart. Oh, he found the door room. Indeed he has. And he's going in. Guys, if you do not remember, the Again. door room is super crazy. It's hard to get through. It's very annoying. There's doors everywhere. <laughs> Very tricky, very turn around. All sorts of fun stuff. Yep. And one wrong move means you take damage from the magma blocks on the ground. Very important Again, to stay not cool. what you want. I hear him eating. He's moving so fast we're having some trouble keeping up with him. Oh no, he's up against the Vindicator. Oh, There's he got a sword. Him. He's using it. He was using up those snowballs. <laughs> Not a bad idea to use up your tools you have at hand. Oh, he's going into the alley. He's in Skeleton Alley. Oh, yes. there he is. He's in the library. Judas. This guy is on it. looking around trying to use that height to his advantage wonder if he saw anything interesting I don't think it so nice still looking around here. behind you look behind you <laughs> and oh, he's he gave up on the library he's giving up on rooms pretty quick which is good or bad we'll have to see not sure I mean he does have plenty of food just the one plus side that he has right now Made it to the end tree room, the end forest. Probably one of my other favorite builds just because it's so pretty, and he has gotten the chest. And he has received a wooden sword and glistering melon for it. Oh, he's looking up in the trees. He thinks maybe something's hidden up there. Oh, and he's out. I will give him credit. He has not died yet, and he is 10 minutes into the maze. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I will be using that joke every time. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Well, we knew there's more puns about oh, the maze. He, just, he didn't go into the candy cane forest. Oh, he's not going like back. He's seen there, Bob. Oh, there he goes. He's back in the candy cane room. Not back. But he's in the candy cane room. Oh, he's going into the candy cane house. Wonder what's in there. Oh, did he get the chest outside? He did. And he got the chest well, that's inside. He received a stone sword and two baked potatoes. And he also just received two rotten flesh. Now can he get out? That's always the big question of the day. Uh-oh. 
when it comes down to the maze. Are you going to be able to make it back out from... Oh, he's now in the dungeon. Okay, he, get... he got the chest in the dungeon. He has received a stone sword and two cooked cod. So yummy fish, yum yum. This guy's moving. He is serious about this game. He is not gonna sit around and do nope. nothing. Oh, nope. back in the dungeon. He's running though, he's like, he's not stopping to fight mobs. Oh, well, I think he may have to be forced to here, because uh -oh. he has some people chasing him around that uh -oh. dead end. He's working on making his way out of here. Ooh, dodged the, all of those traps oh, yep, so nicely. He set one off at the end, but he didn't fall in. <laughs> Darn, I want somebody to fall into my pitfalls. <laughs> oh, okay, he got dead end exit number 19. Alright. He has received another stone sword. If he took it or not. <laughs> <laughs> he's found a few of those, so... Yeah, he did. He's on it, though. He's covered a lot of ground. I will admit, I am impressed by how many rooms he's been in. So he's making good headway. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. And I think we've got our first death. <laughs> good area to look around in. Trying to see what he can find. Oh, he found the chest! And for finding it and braving the hedge maze, he has received a golden apple. Ooh, that is going to come in handy. Indeed it shall. Now he has to get back out of the hedge maze. <laughs> that is the hardest part. Indeed it is. Of the hedge maze. <laughs> it is hard to get out. Yeah. Oh. I like that saying, actually. Be like our maze motto. Easy to get in, hard to get out. Yeah. And for his efforts, he has received a health potion and two cookies. Ooh. A health potion and two cookies. I mean, what what was going on? The other announcer took over for a second. <laughs> oh, now he has received an iron helmet and five melon, and he took no time to put that on. No time at all. Oh, he's back in the- oh, oh, no, he's found something new. Indeed he has. Dead end near Bamboo Forest. He has received a Thorn's One Enchantment Book and has placed it on upon his armor. Yeah, it looks nice on that netherite. That's gonna help him out a lot. Oh yeah. Swinging wildly. <laughs> What? <laughs> what do you mean? Alright guys, so he's seems a bit turned around. I think our maze is getting ready to claim another victim. <laughs> he We're about to hit the halfway mark and he is not halfway through. Oh my, we're 30 minutes in? Almost. Oh goodness. Yeah, he really needs to get out of this loop. He has... seems lost. <laughs> All the walls look the same, because they do. Yep. <laughs> he's swinging wildly with his sword. Not sure what he's trying to accomplish with that. <laughs> I believe that's what this is, is a little bit of frustration manifesting. Yep, he's realized he's back in the witch's room. Oh, back in the maze. And realized he is now back into the hedge maze. He's traversing sure. this again. Not sure what he's looking for in here. He's been in one end and out the other, but it's a bold cotton. I think he's trying to make his way, or a bold move cotton. <laughs> yeah, it's a bold move cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Pretty much. I think he's just trying to find the Lazy River and understands if he gets to this exit, he can maybe find it. Oh, but he didn't turn the right way. Back, he almost made it. There you go. Back out to the river. Oh, Ooh, and he has reached the skeleton alley. alley. Oh, he's decided to fight, fight him through. He's going for it. I mean, he has a diamond sword. That's still very good alive. Arm. All right, he got exit number eleven. 
and a skeleton alley. He has received a bow and a stack of arrows. Ooh. Well, now if he doesn't want to approach like the mob, stuff, he can so the mob can shoot them. Yeah. Up, and he already shot one towards me. Yeah. <laughs> uh... He definitely understands I am up here and is not happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he's shit. looking around, seeing which way he's been. Oh, I don't think he realizes he's been in here before. But he's going Looks back new, in. exciting. Nope. Oh. He says, nope. <laughs> nope, I've been here. He's somewhat been in this area, but he hasn't explored much of it. Oh, he's not he wanting want to, do, to the door do the door maze. He's like, nope. He's reaching further. He will soon realize he has oh. been in the Iron Forest before. Back in the Iron Forest. One of my other favorite Ooh, forests. Yes. There are oh, blazes now. Nope, that's a dead nope. end. No. Stay tuned to find out. He's looking up in the trees like maybe they're hiding a secret. He's we are hiding plenty of secrets here. Yeah. But we won't tell you where. Trying this way. <laughs> nope. You realize this is a dead end again. Hi everybody. It's Tony, the trailer Tom Passer. And I'm here to tell you that I choose you. To like and subscribe to the Trailer Time channel. Oh, one second. Oh, oh that's better. Alright, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe to Trader Time. Bye. He's got his boat back. He's heading down the lazy river. But where is he going? Oh, he's getting off back over here. Alright, let's see if that works out. Oh, he's found something new. The parkour room. And he is killing it. Wow. <laughs> that was not even hard for him. And his reward is a sign. Ooh. Whoop, and he's going back out. He just. Oh no! Right into the lava! It's alright, he's still going. He's still alive. Did you say Ryan? Is that his name? No, I said right into the lava. Oh, no, I thought he's, oh. you said Ryan. I was like, oh, interesting. He's going this way. Where are we going? Making some turns. I think he realizes he's in a new area, which is really good. He just has to keep going, not give up. Right now he's going back the way he came. A bold strategy. <laughs> Whoop, he went down a loop. He just landed in another trap. Oh no! Not what you want to see, especially at this point in the game where no. we're getting close to being low on time. Smart though, he took off his armor, so at least his armor isn't getting killed while he's being killed. Anyway, happy things. Back into the maze. Oh, he's back in the warped forest. Wonder what he's thinking. He's thinking I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking I've already been here. There's nothing left for me. And goodbye. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> yeah, so yes, many yes, snowballs. I, <laughs> I keep expecting I mean, him he, to be yeah, out of snowballs. He got a stack with him when he started, and a stack from the honey room. Yeah, so he's doing I think there he's pretty well set else. for snowballs. Indeed he is. I think you found this one towards the start. Oh, was that crap? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looks like a new area. Yes! So maybe it works. I found it! <laughs> I, it works! Welcome it to works. the Spider Cove and the Treetop Jungle. This is cool. Alright, Ryan, you got the Spider Cove. <laughs> Nobody's survived the Treetop Jungle, so I'm interested to see if you make it. <laughs> Oh, I want to move why. fast. <laughs> this is it. This is it. That's this is why I heard why. spider treetops. I wasn't expecting Pumba. Yeah. Pumba. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't get any cougars.
this is. Ooh, he's found the caves. Eerie a very Eerie. important area. This is a. Oh, he got the. He got it on the first try. Oh. I shall be fine. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We'll say this is much easier than some other parkours. Yeah, this is a better parkour spot. <laughs> All right, he I made it across it. the second parkour. And you've unlocked a whole different section of maze. Oh Welcome goodness. to the village. Oh, the village. Oh Anything in these? You got a chest. Oh, no, but those are barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, Ryan. Sorry. <laughs> uh, now he got a chest. Yeah, I got a chest. Oh, here's three apples. Shit, three apples. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my second favorite room in the entire place. This looks nice, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, he got another chest in the main house. Yeah, he uh, just left that big room. I don't know how much fighting left. they'll do. Oh, he's found the castle. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, heck yeah. Actually, yeah, it's cool. Yes, yeah, totem. they've got totems of undying, so definitely don't complain about these guys. Yeah. <laughs> if you can kill them, they're worth it. <laughs> definitely. Oh, he found oh, a chest oh, on oh, floor boots. two. Boots. Yes. <laughs> yeah, my final minute and it can be in peace in a house. <laughs> With apples. And my, With and apples my and no my monsters. Totem friends. This is and how he wants guys. to go out. <laughs> come on, guys. Oh, we wow. Have an apple. <laughs> have an apple. There you go. Wow. Alright, guys. That's some serious uh, just, flexing just me and my you're friends. doing right here. Just me and my bro. <laughs> just me and my bros here. You want a drink? Here, go have a drink. <laughs> really trying yeah. to kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna spend my first, my last 12 seconds shooting at you. <laughs> all right, and that <laughs> is the maze. Taking all my totem back. <laughs> all right, you ready for me to kill you and reset you to the beginning? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The best man win. <laughs> Back, back, back. Yeah, you can't kill this. <laughs> I have Toda. You can't kill what you created. Oh, yeah, wait, I was gonna oh, say no. we wait, we no. really max you out on armor to kill you. <laughs> so I have three of these ones. This the, the one that I have three of is P S P C zero two zero 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 two five. Awesome. So that and is then, multiple. Oh, I'll tell you your prizes as we go, and then we'll get to the next thing. Uh, so that one's actually multiple prizes. So since you got three of the same sign, the first one is a Kryptonite Pokemon Pikachu sticker. That is an exclusive maze prize that you can't find anywhere else. Um, so that will be mailed out to you. And the second one is a $10 gift card. So because you got three signs, it multiplied your prizes. So you got two for that. And what is the second one? Um, CCH01000001. All right, and that is a correct code, and that corresponds to a chicken head. So that a is what? a chicken. It you can either be used as a planter for a succulent plant or a pencil holder. <laughs> it is a Minecraft <laughs> chicken head. <laughs> That's so cool. I still like that. That's cool. Yeah. So three prizes, not bad. That's the most Sydney Buns won so far, and you got some money. So. Oh, Congrats, yeah. man. That is really good. You made it very far into the maze, just so you know. Uh, big congrats on that. <laughs> yeah. Darkness has been unleashed. Are you strong enough to tame it? Become a Kryptonite trainer by visiting Kryptonite Designs on Etsy and choosing your starter Pokemon today. For just $3, you can get a one-of-a-kind Kryptonite Pokemon sticker. Take the link in the description to start your adventure today and become the strongest Kryptonite trainer that has ever lived. Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed the second run through of the maze here. Our wonderful participant today did a great job, found a bunch of wonderful chests that helped him along the way. And he also picked himself up three awesome prizes. So if you guys want to learn how to participate in the maze yourself, make sure and check the description down below for our rules on how to gain potential entry to run the maze yourself and went up to the $500 worth of prizes here. And again, as a reminder, since he did not reach the end and win the grand prize, next week our total will be up to $140 for that awesome grand prize. So make sure to stick around, make sure 
that you're watching and doing all the things that you need to to gain entry. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.